Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome to Path Loss 5 training series. In this video, we will see how to make uh, link labels. How to because when we have a lot of links and if there are some links which have any kind of significant, then we can change those uh, links attributes and uh, the link labels also. So in that way. The, the main map can give us some information about the links so let's see how we can do it it's a pretty simple thing but uh, because I'm covering everything in Pathos 5 so I have to cover this as well uh, when you have a map and then you have a link here when you right click on the link uh, sorry left click on the link then you have these four options one option is uh, the link attributes and the second option is the link label. These are the two options that we will be discussing right now. The third option is very simple if you want to delete the link because of any reason then you can just delete this link. Map crossing I will not go in detail but map crossing tells you that uh, that map tiles you are using I mean you are on how much far from a map but uh, right now we are just talking about these two uh, link related things uh, link attributes and link label so when we will click on the link attributes now the attribute of this line that you can see here as a link this now you can change how this line looks for example you want a solid line a dashed line or a dotted line and also you can change the width of this line so for example if you have a backbone link or the link is very near to your uh, base station site or your main data center and this link is very heavy for example very high capacity link then you can denote it with a very fat type of line and the links which are on the edge or uh, which are towards to your last mile sites you, and those links are generally very small in capacity so you can put those links with a uh, with a thin kind of uh, width so apparently when anyone will see your network he will notice that okay these links are a bit fatter and these links are, are a bit thinner so he will understand that okay your network starts from here and it is going towards this side so link attribute also helps us in visualizing the link second thing is the link label the link label give us some information from the main window for example right now these links have no labels so when I will click on the link label I have some options I can give a fixed free form label like I can write anything here and this thing will come as a label of this link like I write test and I have put as a free form also we will we can give some attributes like we can make it shrink to fit so if the name is even bigger it will become a smaller and it will fit within inside this area or maybe we can make a label but we don't draw it here so the label is there but it's not visible or we can bold italic and uh, how we want to position it's above the link below the link and we can give a color and we can give a size to a uh, size to the font as well so for example I put a test and a fixed it's a red color size is 8 and now I press OK so now I can see this is now the label of my link but this label is you as you can see this label is not giving any uh, good information so what we can have like for example we can put the TX frequency and polarization we can put the TX channel ID and polarization and we can put distance and azimuth so distance and azimuth is sometimes what uh, some people use and also TX frequency and polarization is also very commonly used because now from this map you will know that which frequency are being used in which area so you can put anything but you can put only one thing at a time and you can put any label for you whatever you like like for example when I put distance azimuth you can see that the distance is here and this azimuth of 225 degrees so one side is on 45 degree and one side is on 225 degree 
and the link distance is 5.25 km. So this is giving me some information about the link I made. So you can use the label to give some information to the one who will see this uh, map and generally it looks uh, good as well that there is some information about the link. So I'm sure this uh, video even though this uh, topic is not a very you can say a very difficult topic it's a very simple topic but uh, I hope you should have learned something. If you have any comment or any question uh, please contact me on my email address or uh, through LinkedIn and please subscribe to my channel so that any new video is uh, informed to you on time and if um, inshallah we will see each other together in the next window next video assalamu alaikum